Anorexia is an eating disorder that can ruin lives, even kill. Now, usually it affects women, but male anorexia is real and more prevalent than you might think. Our health, health reporter Haley Hernandez is joining us with a closer look at this issue. That's right, guys. So up to 7 million boys and men will suffer from eating disorders in their lifetime, but most of them don't seek help because of a stigma or because they don't even know what it is. It was like living in hell and I really wish it on my enemies. Desperate to get his life under control, Colt Gordon joined the Marines, hoping the Corps' discipline would be the answer. Instead, he plummeted into depression, considered suicide, and fell victim to an eating disorder, dropping from a healthy 190 to 155 pounds. Well, I would exercise all day sometimes, sometimes three hours in the gym. I'd fall asleep in the sauna for two and a half hours at a time. I would. Uh, go on apple diets, eat nothing for a couple weeks, and then I'd uh, binge and purge. I thought this was gonna be the rest of my life. I thought I was gonna die from it, and I essentially almost did. We know that between like 25 and 40% of all eating disorder cases actually are males, um, and yet, very few get treatment. Colt did. He entered UC San Diego's eating disorders program that included therapy, coping skills, and meal support. It's hard and it takes time. Four to ten hours a day, three to five days a week, lasting four months. Therapist Tiffany Brown says working with male anorexics can be challenging since their appearances can be deceptive. Someone could look on the outside like they may not have anorexia, may not be significantly underweight, and still could be really struggling with a lot of very significant eating disorder symptoms. The hard work paid off for Colt. He conquered his eating disorder, is learning Spanish, going to school, and working with kids in Mexico to help them stay away from drugs. So my life's pretty full. <laughs> and I go dancing on Friday and Saturday. <laughs> have a great time. Good for him. So eating d uh, disorder specialists have these tips. Be aware that sports that necessitate weight restriction like gymnastics and wrestling do put men at risk, they say, and also never emphasize body size or shape as indications of worth for young men or young women for that matter. Yeah. Of course, we've always talked about this for women, but it's better to know that, you know, this impacts men too. It's great that they're raising awareness about it. Of course. It's so taboo. And yeah, a exactly. guy not afraid to speak up and talk yeah, about it. Because yeah. that's right. I mean, guys don't like to talk about their insecurities. Right. Women are much more open about that. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Good information. Thanks, yeah. Thanks guys. Yeah.